Hey everybody, today I am sharing my top 5 lipsticks for the fall and winter seasons. Now a couple months ago, I had done my top 5 lipsticks for the spring and summer season, so I figured why not do this one as well. I have quite a few here that I want to talk about, so I'm just going to dive right into it. The first one that I want to talk about is my favorite red lipstick of all time, and I think that this lipstick is great for every season, but this season is where I especially use it, and it is Milani's lipstick in the shade Best Red 07, and it looks like this. Now, I've really talked about this lipstick a lot. I've talked about it a couple times since I started making YouTube videos, and this has been my favorite red lipstick for years now. I just love this lipstick, and I, it's matte, it doesn't have a sheen to it, it's just this beautiful, true red lipstick, and I don't know, when I wear this, it just makes me feel really Christmassy, and like, I'm, I should be drinking a nice hot chocolate from Starbucks, and... I really, really like this lipstick. So if you're looking for a great red that is matte, but that isn't really, really drying, and that you can wear a couple days in a row without your lips wanting to fall off your face because they're so dry, this one is literally fantastic. I can't recommend this color enough, and I can't recommend this line of lipsticks enough. The next color is from Maybelline, and it is called Hooked on Pink, it is 065, and it looks like this. This is such a beautiful, spicy cranberry shade. I think that it is so beautiful for the fall time, for like the this season. It's just so beautiful. This shade is perfect if you're obsessed with pink lipsticks, if you're looking for a beautifully bright but not too bright of a lipstick for this season. Like I said, it's like a nice spicy dark reddish mauve cranberry color. I don't know how you would quite, ex you know, explain this color, but it really is fantastic. It wears for a really long time. I love this line of Maybelline lipsticks. They're all fantastic. But this is a color that I go back to time and time and time again during this season. It's just so beautiful and it's buildable but it can also go on sheer if you want it to. And the thing is is that it's a really nice bright shade for this time of year but it's not too bright so you can definitely pull it off with darker eyes like I'm wearing today. I just think that this lipstick is a great great shade and a great formula because it's matte. I wouldn't say that it's like ultra hydrating or anything, like it's not going to replace your lip balm, but it doesn't dry your lips and it feels nice and I just, I really, really think that this is a fantastic shade for all skin tones during this time of year. Now the next color I've worn in quite a few videos so far this month in October because it is my favorite, it's, this might be like my top, top favorite lipstick for the fall and winter seasons and it is Wet n Wild's lipstick, matte lipstick, in the shade Mocha Licious and it is this really beautiful brown shade and I know a lot of people really don't like brown lipsticks but I find that no matter who you are, Whenever I see anybody wearing brown lipstick, I think it looks beautiful on everybody. I think that it flatters everybody's hair color, skin color, eye color, everything. It's just, I think the brown lipstick is beautiful on every single person. So this is this beautiful really chocolatey brown lipstick. It's so pigmented, it feels wonderful. It's matte, but it's not drying. Again, it's not hydrating, but it's not drying, so it's really, really, really great. I highly recommend this lipstick. Super pigmented, super smooth, goes on. It's super cheap as well. And a little tip here is that I always find myself loving to put lip gloss on top of this. So if you're looking for a glossy lipstick instead of a matte one, a beautiful lip gloss that can go over this is e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine in the shade Iced Latte. And it's this beautiful brown lip gloss. You can just very quickly glide it over, and then you have this really beautiful, glossy brown lipstick. I just adore, absolutely adore, this lipstick color. 
Now this wouldn't be a fall and winter lipstick video if I did not include Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. I've worn this a ton, I even talked about this, well I've talked about this a lot, but oh is this the most beautiful fall color, oh my god. It smells like root beer, a lot of his lipsticks do smell like root beer, some of them don't, some of them have no scent, some of them smell like buttercream, sometimes they smell like root beer, it does say it in the descriptions on his website I believe, so if you're interested in Jeffree Star lipsticks, just go on to his website and see which ones aren't scented, but I really, really, really love his lipstick color. So this is Unicorn Blood. It is really dark, really deep, really rich of a color. Um, it's almost like a chocolatey blood red. It's definitely blood red. I mean, it's red, but it has a lot of a... It's kind of like a brown tone in it. And I just find that this color is amazing, A, on all skin tones, and B, during this time of year. It's one of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks, and so you put it on, and then it dries down, it's nice and matte, and this is just a fantastic shade. I just think that this color is such a beautiful fall color. It really, really is. And Jeffree Star's formulas aren't ultra drying, like there are some liquid lipsticks that are so dry. Jeffree Stars, they aren't, but they're not, like I said, not hydrating either, so definitely you would want to prepare your lips by exfoliating them and putting lip balm on and letting it sit for a little bit, take the lip balm off, then put this on because you really do want your lips to be hydrated under any liquid lipstick, but this is really, really great. You don't have to worry about it. It dries, and I think that this is a great lipstick. I really, really do. So now is the final lip product. We are on number five. I know my lips are looking very red and stained right now, so I apologize. The next one is a NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Embellishment. This is such a beautiful fall shade. It's neutral, but there's just this really nice purple in it. And I don't know, guys. I'm just going to show you. It's like a grayish purple. I'm in love with this shade. I really, really am. So as you can see, yeah, it's like a sh it's like a grayish purple shade, but it is neutral, and I think that it looks beautiful with dark eyes like this. It just kind of just goes with it. It just really, really does. I wouldn't wear this shade with warm eye eyeshadows on your lids. I would wear it with some cooler toned eyeshadows. But yeah, so this is a lip lingerie, so this does dry down matte, and it is kiss proof. I love this shade. It is a shade that when you first apply it, it's kind of sheer, so you will have to build it up a little bit, but these are so cheap, and I couldn't pass this shade up, and I think that this would look good on so many people. I just, I don't know, I don't have a color in the, my lipstick collection that looks like this. I've seen many lipsticks that are very similar, but I've not quite seen one like this, and I just, I'm absolutely in love with it. When I saw it on the display, I was obsessed. I I knew I had to get it and I'm so in love with it. I would highly recommend this shade for everybody. Uh, I, I don't know. I just think that it's beautiful. I really, really do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. I figured since I did the other one for the other two seasons, why not sit down and talk about these ones? I really like doing these videos where I list products just because I don't know, it's really fun just to go through and say like, this is really great, I really, really like this, or I don't like that, but to have like a set topic for a video and just sit and just talk about makeup, I really, really love it. So these are the five lipsticks that I highly recommend. I'll have them all listed in the description, as well as the shade names. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments, and let me know if there are any other list videos that you would like to see. Let me know, and I will get on that immediately for you guys. All my social media links will be in the description, so check those out if you're interested. It's okay if you're not, though. I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!